Hello. Um, hello. How was uh, how was seven six for you? Um, I know that it seems to be a little bit tedious, and there seems to be a couple different, um, very small, minor details you have to pay attention to. But it's it's good to understand what kind of relationships exist. Uh, for the last section in this unit, we're going to turn our attention to specific equations of circles and and how that looks within the coordinate plane. So if I've got a horrible line like I do there. So if I've got a, a coordinate plane, if I have a graph and I have a circle within that graph, you know, how does that work? How do I know where the center is? How do I know what the radius is? How does that all work within um, within the, the um, under the umbrella of So if we look in a y and x axis coordinate plane, Okay, so the coordinate plane you've seen for a couple of years now. Um, so we have a center H and K. So H is an X value. Okay, so it's going to be an actual number. And K is going to be a Y value. And again, that's going to be an actual number. And then we have R, which is going to be the radius. And, and these two numbers indicate the center of that circle. So my equation is, is nothing more than this. Okay, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, here's what you have to realize. That stays in x. I don't want to write it like that. Okay, I don't, I don't ever replace that. Okay, that stays in X. That stays a Y. Okay? Now, this needs to be replaced with a number. This needs to be replaced with a number. And the R needs to be replaced with a number. Okay? So that's what my equation will look like. Where? H and K are the center, and R is my radius. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So let's put this into practice and see what we're dealing with here. So if I've got the equation of a circle with a center at 1, negative 8, and a radius of 7. So this becomes my x value. This becomes my y value. So this becomes h. This becomes k and my radius is 7. So my equation looks nothing more than this. Okay, so I go x minus 1 squared plus y minus a negative 8 squared equals 7 squared. So simplify x minus 1 squared plus y plus 8 squared equals 7 squared. You can multiply it out to 49 if you really wanted to. There, you don't have to. Um, but be able to recognize both. You could recognize that or 49 and be fine. So now the second one, you have the center at 4, negative 1 with a diameter of 8. So for 4, negative 1, okay, this becomes my H. This becomes my K. So I get X minus 4 squared plus Y minus a negative 1 squared equals 8 squared. So x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 8 squared. Okay, that, that would be my equation. That's it. I don't have to square anything out. I don't have to do any algebra, move things around. It's just merely representing a circle that way. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. So now, this one is actually simpler than you think it is. Okay, so when I look at the equation of a circle with a center at the origin with a radius of square root of 10. So the origin is the exact middle of the graph, so that would be 0, 0, and I've got a radius of square root of 10. So in my equation, it would be x minus 0, squared plus y minus 0 squared equals square root of 10 squared. 
So now let's simplify this a little bit. X minus zero is just X. Y minus zero is just Y. Square root of 10 squared is just gonna be 10. That's my answer. That's it. Okay, this is what I'm looking for when they say write the equation of the circle. That's what I want. So now, let's, let's put some problems in here that we need to work through. So the center is at negative 1, 1. That would be right here. That's my center. Passes through negative 2, 4. That's up here. All right, so now this is my circle around here. Okay, graph the circle, write the equation. Well, what I need to do first is figure out my distance between the two points. Okay, so I'm going to need that big, long square root from way back in, in unit one. Okay, but we've seen it a couple times since then. So I'll go negative 2 minus negative 1 squared plus 4 minus 1 squared. So that becomes negative 1. This becomes 3. So after all that, I get square root of 10. So then when I go to write my equation, here's my center. So I go x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals square root of 10 squared, which as we saw in the previous problem, I can just reduce to 10. So now this becomes x plus 1, and this becomes y minus 1. x plus 1, because it's like x minus a negative 1, that just gets converted. That's all it is. But this is a good throwback to using the distance formula, which is something we've seen a couple times now. So it shouldn't be too new for you. <laughs> okay. So now let's kind of work backwards. Here's my equation. Let's look at what the center and the radius is. So here, my center, be careful with signs. You want to take the opposite of what's there. So I'm going to take 4 and negative 1. Okay, remember, it's x minus h, y minus k, r squared. So if it's minus, I just want the number. If it's plus, I want the opposite number. So now my radius does not equal 9, okay? My radius is, my radius squared equals 9, which means my radius will equal 3. So there's my center, and there's my radius. For this one, x squared plus y squared equals 25. Well, this is like this. This is like saying h and k are both 0. OK, so my center is 0, 0, and r squared equals 25. So r is just going to equal 5. Okay, so being able to recognize that, hey, I'm not subtracting or adding my anything, that tells me that it's going to be 0, 0. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. So, center at 2, negative 1. That's right here. Passes through 0, 0. That's there. So, graph the circle. Okay, so I want to do distance again. So I'm going to go 2 minus 0 squared plus negative 1 minus 0 squared. So that's going to be 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. So that will be square root of 5. Okay? So square root of 5. Square root of 5 is a little bit bigger than 2. So I can kind of ballpark where that's going to be. So it's going to look something like this. So my center is x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals square root of 5 squared, or just 5. That's what I would rather put. So I go x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared. There is my answer. Okay.
Okay. So once you get the hang of this, it doesn't become too bad. Things will get a little bit easier. Write the equation of a circle where the diameter endpoints are 5, negative 4, and 5, 7. Okay, so I recognize that 5 and 5 are the same. So I can think about this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I just kind of have an idea. 5, negative 4 is right here. 5, 7 is up here. So this is my diameter right here. Okay, so, so mixing one in the middle. Um, halfway between negative 4 and 7. Okay. Oops. Halfway between negative 4 and 7 is going to be 5 and a half. So it's going to be a, probably about right there. So it ends up being about one and a half. And I can find the midpoint by going five plus five divided by two, negative four plus seven divided by two. Midpoint throwback, x is plus, x plus x divided by two, y plus y divided by two. So that just gives me five, and that gives me three halves or one and a half. Okay, write the equation of a circle. Well, and I know that my radius is going to be 5.5. I know that it's going to be halfway between the top and the bottom. And I know that the diameter is 11, so I just have to divide that by 2. So my equation then becomes x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 halves, or 1 and a half squared, equals 5.5 squared. There's my answer. There's my answer. Okay, so this is obviously a little bit different. It's a, it's a little bit twist on a circle. Brings in some graphing, brings in some other pieces you have to be aware of. Um, so next is your assignment, obviously, and then you're doing 7.7 .7 assignment. 7.7 .7 quizzes. And then you're on to your Unit 7 review. And if you know what you're doing, then you're ready for the test. Okay, thank you.